So guys, here we are. <laughs> Take a long the, time. The famous Celadon restaurant. Maybe. Celebrating the release yes. of Casanegra, man. The success, successful release. That's right. Can you believe yeah. it? Isn't it amazing how it goes from just being an idea to a book? How, how did we meet initially? It was because of my soul to keep. We spoke on the phone originally. And I wanted to buy the rights to the book. You and Desiree, your wife, were right. in uh, South Florida at a polo club. Right, that's and you right. And invited my mother and I to come meet you. So there we were sitting in the lobby. I'm all excited. I've never met you know, a TV star, movie star before. And your cousin saw us in the lobby. And she's like, oh, Blair will be so excited to see you. Come on up. So she brought us up to the room, <laughs> opened the door. And the very first time I laid eyes on you, you were walking out of the bathroom wearing nothing but a towel. <laughs> so you definitely made a, a very memorable first impression. And first impressions are important. <laughs> so we admit. And we, got, uh, we did My Soul to Keep together, at least got the rights to it, which is now set up at Fox Searchlight. Yes, yes. Um, and then you two met, because I just done Sex in the City, I was doing press for that at the, around that same time. I said, wow, how can we do an erotic type book, but also do a murder mystery type series? I said, if we can make it interesting enough to make it something that men want to see because the character's cool, but also women want to read. Yeah. That is so critical because the black book audience right now is primarily women. Mm -hmm. So I think that a lot of that is because there have not been books that brought black men into the, the world of, of fiction in the same way that's available for, for, for whites in mm -hmm. our culture. So to me, the, the challenge was how do we create something that will attract and hold the female audience that is already there, but also have values that will attract and hold males. And what that really means is how do you write something just for human beings right. across the pike? And the one thing that's different in the world of fiction than in the world of reality, say, is that it also has to work in terms of the plot of the story. Mm -hmm. You can't just screech the book to a halt so your characters can jump in bed together. Not if you're trying to do it elegantly. Sex is, is complicated, too. It's like, uh, you know, in the movie Casablanca, of course, the, the song says a kiss is just a kiss. But uh, as we say in Casa Negra, a kiss is never just a kiss. Mm. And sex is never just sex. What, one of the things we talked about from the very beginning was right away, of course, writing a book, but also spinning this into a movie yes. right away. And in order to do that, I wanted to make sure that all of the characters were rich and full yes. and complex, and that this just wasn't um, erotica for the sake of being sensational, yeah. that we have real characters, and you guys have done that. One of the things we realized as we got closer to the climax is, once this is actually on the silver screen, there hasn't been a character like Tennyson Hardwick. There's not a single movie with the that made a box office over $100 million that has a non-white male having sex in it. And I think that the public is ready for something. Yes. And it's ready for something different. I think yes. that they're hungry for something different. And we got something different. The book hits the stores in June, end of June, officially July 10th, but it'll be in some stores end of June. And we've talked about at least 10 more stories from here. I'm honored and excited to play Tennyson on the big screen. We're happy. Yeah, no. Very happy. Yeah, yeah. It's a good thing. Cheers. To Casa Negra. Casa Negra. Right. <laughs>